all right welcome on back youtube to some more witcher 3 uh we are heading on over to margrave henkel's house to figure out what's going on with uh extras the gold his, his money um apparently they took a bunch um also one other thing that i thought was kind of funny at the end of like all the xp stuff that we got I'm literally one XP point away from hitting level 18. Just one. It's like, what? Really? Really? Really, dude? Really? Just one? One? Every man for himself? Uh, anyway, let's keep going. We'll get that level. Just, like, what are the odds? Hovel in a Margrave's townhouse. I made some interesting friends. Footprints. Yeah, don't mind us. We're just, you know, breaking and entering. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. With love for me. From your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. Twelve forty five to twelve fifty four. Satisfying click in the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Wyvern Oil. Siri. Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. What the hell is Doo Doo? It's an interesting name. Extra. And Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No. Just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelairoise, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. 
commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Melodor. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Hankel told me, old man's alive and well, faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was, and Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. And while you sit here twiddling your thumbs, oh shit. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. It suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say. Is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the hunter's barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Okay, meet Triss at the Eternal Fire Shrine. Ooh. Damn, that's cool. That was a cooler, cooler little portal thing that she did. My. I like that a lot better than uh, Yennefer's. Hers was like a fire or something. Kind of like a phoenix. Ah! A lot of like back forth. Back forth and. Talking. No. Sid will come to the room first. Bus, bus, bus. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith, currently a master of dumplings. Oh. Geralt of Rivia, 
A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Ooh, is this our master swordsmith? Hell yeah. Uh, midnight. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mina could use a bit of paint and spackle. I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. <laughs> Mind explaining what this is about? Uh, Trish, <laughs> share about this here and now. I'm gonna go with this, so that's funny. Uh, Tris, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Pink, bring the hunters the vile Tris Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you, they're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky.
Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's come, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Ooh. Like I said, this playthrough... I always go with Yennefer, but this playthrough, we're gonna make it about Triss. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the L4? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Call me then. Well, so far, her plan's working. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore, and you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Yeah, I feel like if I would have done any of like the defending her thing, like uh, dialogue, we would have had a, uh, issues there. What's up with the barrel? Why is it in the walkway? Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. 
You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Uh. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. No torture till I get there. Got it? Got it. No torture. What? The Horson's casting spells. Get him! Oh man, here we go again. Make this quick because I'm tired of. I can't change that really. Okay, well. Second time. That's not what I meant to take. Just gonna be like real upset with me. He's gonna be a real, real, real upset. You didn't learn anything because you killed them. Any last words? Oh, 
God damn it. I didn't realize I was that, uh, that close. I think that's all of them. That was close. Axie in a crowd? Geralt, there was no way that could work. Sorry. I couldn't let them torture you. You mean too much to me. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. She's pissed. She's pissed. She's pissed. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something's sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault, no address. Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here and try to get this uh, wrapped up and find a way out. We'll just walk out the front door. It really seems like it's over here. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. I thought she teleported again. I was like, shit, she ditching me. I wanna do it too. Don't mention it. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Triss. Yeah, see, her teleport's a lot cooler. You there! Mr. Roven wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon.
Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains house is the smoke. Kind of on fire. <laughs> my treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't dare to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, find the drop box using your witcher senses. Place the holy tome there to signal that you want to meet with the spy. And I'm trying to hurry up and finish this quest. This quest is really lengthy. Wow, that was attractive. Day like any other. So, how do you go with this either? I was gonna bit up my own business. And then drop box. Keys of copper. Find the drop box. Right there. Must be the drop the box. Signal. I should show up in far corners before midnight. Get the arranged oh, the meeting place at midnight. We're running all over and over, Grad Man. Your coin for the shite. I think we're doing like, I think we probably should have done the other one before we did that, but oh well.
Hey, hey, man, not all of us ask for a fortune. Should have stayed in the forest with my new meat. Oh. Must have died. Didn't touch him. You flee to Maria too. I've been the advance. This is proximo. It's gonna be a butcher when I grow up. Just to hide and wait. Behind the door. Best place to hide. Classic. Is it really, though? Trist with Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, hide. Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. You're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> you must be thinking this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. So. Is dead. I'm you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menke's orders. If you did person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume? We can put this unfortunate incident behind us. Not so fast. Yeah. I know. You've seen too much. But why? I told you. I'll never. Either he dies, or he wipes his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad. I promise. 
I showed your claws today. How do you feel? Base, cruel, vile. I could go on, but I need to get out of here now. Go home, bathe, then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Manga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Manga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. All right. Dang, this quest is still going. So we're going to go ahead and wrap them up. So stay tuned. We will have more Witcher 3 coming your way.